Hi everyone and welcome to our presentation about some of the great photographers past and present that Nigel and I have prepared for you. We thought it may just be a bit of fun to look at some of what are the great names in photography do or in the past have done. Also, I think we can learn so much from them by just enjoying their photographs, especially the composition and lighting side. So we just Googled in the top photographers of all time and just out of interest, this is what we found. The first guy to uh, appear was Ansel Adams, one of the greatest landscape photographers of all time. He was also a very passionate environmentalist. Most of his photos were taken on the west coast of America. He had some beautiful landscapes to work with and uh, the, the quality of this, these aren't great because I did just screen share them, but uh, I think it gives you some idea. He is most famous for his magnificent tonal range in pictures. And his first camera was a Kodak One Model B box brownie. His images I'm sure would be sharper though than you are seeing. Robert Kappa, world renowned war photographer who you may have heard of. He risked his life on numerous occasions to get his photographs. He was even taking pictures on Omaha Beach on D-Day. And just for a bit of gossip, he had a short affair with Ingrid Bergman. Tragically, he was killed in Vietnam. He left his Jeep to take a picture and stepped straight onto a landmine. Very tragic, he was only 40 years old and has left us with some of the most iconic wartime images I think that will ever be taken. One of his very famous quotes is, if your pictures aren't good enough, you're probably not close enough. Man Ray, bit of a weird one this I think, but he was one of the very first surrealist photographers. He saw things a little bit differently to the rest of us and in doing so made a name for himself. All very strange and very unusual, but one of the first greats, and I guess the modern expression would be, he thought outside of the box. I love this next one, which is of um, a nun in the park. And oh, this one's very Marilyn Monroe which was before Man Marilyn Monroe, so definitely ahead of his time. Henry Bresson. This guy was a humanist photographer who pioneered the concept of street photography. He liked to capture decisive moments. Well, wouldn't we all? He was also one of the very first photographers to use 35 millimeter film. His pictures are quite iconic and I'm, I'm sure somewhere along the line, you, you probably have seen this one and, uh, and possibly the next ones. This is the one I was mentioning. It was Henry Bresson, not the other guy. I love the way he's captured the birds emulating the nun's hat. We would all like to capture a picture like that, I'm sure. And I love these two, the expression on that wee boy's face. You'd have thought he'd have won the lottery rather than two bottles of whatever is in there. And then we looked up some famous present photographers. This guy you may not have heard of, but he is very famous, Charlie Waite. And he's noted for his square format six by six and he has a Hasselblad camera. Some lovely images I thought. He was also one of the very first to develop what they call a painterly approach to his photographs and they do look like they've been watercolored don't they? Oh 
I particularly like this one, the cows. They look like they're walking out to sea, but uh, I'm not sure that they are. And the next very famous guy, I'm sure you all have heard of David Bailey, who hasn't heard of him. What you may not know about David Bailey though, is that due to undiagnosed dyslexia, he achieved absolutely nothing at school and rarely attended. After he completed his national service, he couldn't find any work due to his bad school report or the lack of it. So he bought a Canon rangefinder camera. He found a job with a photographer who took him on as a general dog's body for three pound a week. He told this photographer he was going to become famous. Well, the rest is history, as they say, as all these infamous and famous people queued up to be photographed by him. Linda Wisdom, you may not have heard of her, but she is a modern day street photographer who loves photographing urban lifestyle creatively capturing people that convey visual impact. She lectures and she teaches today. So very modern, this one. I think this is quite a famous photograph you might have seen. Very clever picking out the only guy in a light raincoat. And this next one is a well-known image capturing the speeding train very nicely in blurred motion. And Will Burrard Lucas, I think you may have seen some of his pictures. He's a wildlife photographer and he's very famous for developing devices such as the beetle cam and camera traps. This enabled him to cap capture close up photography of wildlife. You probably will have seen his wonderful meerkat pictures, which he's very famous. And a, there's a very well known one of a meerkat, which is actually sitting on the end of his telephoto lens, looking back at him, which is um, quite amazing, I think. Well, I know we don't all have a queue of famous people knocking at our doors, begging to take their photograph or African wildlife or spectacular landscapes outside. But that doesn't mean we can't create a great picture. And by studying these great photographers, we can learn so much as already mentioned about composition and lighting. All of these are absolutely iconic images, instantly recognizable. And another thing that struck us about so many of these famous photographers, past and present, is how many of their pictures are taken in black and white. Oh, but before we move on to them, I just wanted to show you this now very famous photo of the sailor and the nurse celebrating in Times Square after World War II. And for a bit of fun to explain, it's not actually how it first appears. People always assumed these guys were a couple but it's far from the truth. The sailor was waiting for his girlfriend. They'd arranged to meet in Times Square. She is actually in the photo, but she's walking just behind the sailor under the L of the word life. He just happened to grab this pretty nurse and give her a kiss in the heat of the moment. And they never saw each other again. Well, actually that is until recently, someone tracked them down and they were re-photographed together. Anyway, happily, the sailor's girlfriend thought this was all very funny and they were married and they lived happily ever after. But how amazing the photographer just in that one moment created one of the best moments depicting the end of the war. So Bevan Nigel's challenge or mission, if you wish to accept it, is to find a great photo of your choice preferably an iconic one like the examples you saw and recreate it in black and white. I'm about to show you some examples of what we mean. The first two with the little Lego men we found on the internet by people who are already doing this kind of thing so brilliantly. 
And the last two are Bev and Nigel's examples that we did ourselves. So here we go. Well, as I say, that's all folks. I hope we've inspired you to try a bit of creative photography at home and it may help to fill some time whilst we're in lockdown. And as always at Pagan Photographers, don't forget to have fun while you're doing it.